Hi, everybody. Let's look at few more example for this subtopic 8.2 additions and subtractions of vectors. The diagram shows OA is equal to A, OB is equal to B. So don't get confused that OC is not equal to A, OA equal to A. So it's better we draw a line over here, label it A. Okay. C lies on OA, C lies on OA, where OC is equal to 2 over 3 OA. OC is equal to 2 over 3 OA. So I move the OA over here. OC over OA is equal to 2 over 3. So it means that OC, 2 part, take 2 part, OA, 3 part. So this is 2 part, OA, 3 part, it means here is 1 part. Okay? Now, mm, D is a midpoint of AB. D is a midpoint of A and B. So let me label this way. BC and OD intersect at uh, at M. OD and BC intersect at M. Given OM is equal to KOD, OM equal to KOD, and BM equal to HBC. Okay, now where K and H are constant find om so we need to find om mm, in term of k okay let me try the part a first we want to find om the vector of om in term of k a and b so we want k right so definitely we need to use this one om is equal to k o d okay so k o d OM OD so now OD is equal to OA plus AD correct OA plus AD so you uh, you will get OD okay so this is K no problem just copy OA is equal to A AD. So D is a midpoint of AB, right? So we know that AD is actually half of AB. So half of AB. Okay, now let me do the AB outside here. Later on, only I plug in over here. So AB is equal to AO plus OB, right? A O plus O B. Okay, so A O, be careful. This is O A. Now we are looking for A O, opposite direction. So we have to add a negative. O B, okay, O B just follow the direction, so no problem. We don't have to add a negative sign. Plus B. Okay, now I have A B. I'm going to take this one, plug in over here. So OM is equal to KA plus 1 over 2 AB. Okay, just do some expansion, uh, expansion over here. So K, this is A minus 1 over 2A plus B oh, plus 1 over 2B plus 1 over 2b, okay. So 1a minus 1 over 2a, you will get 1 over 2a. This one just copy. Okay. So now we know, we just bring the k go in, you will get 1 over 2ka plus 1 over 2kb. Okay, so this is OM in terms of K, A, and B. Okay, let me check, correct or not. 1 over 2 K, A, and 1 over 2 K, B. Okay, correct. Okay, let's go to part B. Now, still same thing, we want to find the vector of OM, but this time in terms of H, A, and B. So in terms of H, 
definitely we need to use this one because this is the only information that has a H. So still same thing, OM. Okay, this is uh this is A. Okay, let me do the B over here. OM. OM is equal to O B plus B M. O B plus B M. Okay? This is O M. O B is equal to B, no problem. B M, okay, B M is equal to H B C. So how do I get B C? So I think I do uh, I do outside here first, find the B C, then only I plug it over here. Okay, so now I want B C. I just do it here first. B C, okay, let me move it up. B C is equal to B O plus O C, right? B O plus O C, then you get B C. B O, okay, be careful. The the arrow is pointing this way. Now we are looking for this way, B O. So we need to get a negative plus O C. So how do we get O C? O C is actually two over three eight, right? So it's because total here is three part. O C take two part, so it will be two over three a. Okay, now we have B C over here, so we can just bring this whole thing inside here. B C, so it will be a negative B plus two over three a. O C, okay, correct. So just do some expansion over here. Uh, minus H B plus. 2 over 3 H A. So this one I can do the factorization. It becomes 1 minus H B plus 2 over 3 H A. Okay, how about I rearrange it? It becomes 2 over 3 H A plus 1 minus H B. Okay. 2 over 3 H A plus 1 minus H B. Okay, correct. So this is O M. Okay, let me write over here. This is for part B. O M. 1 over 2. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. 2 over 3. 2 over 3 H A plus 1 minus H B. Okay, so this is OM in terms of K, A, and B, and this is OM in terms of H, A, and B. Now, the question asks us to find the value of K and H. So this one we can do it two ways. The so first method will be, okay, make, make sure you erase nicely A and A, B and B. So by comparison, you know that 1 over 2K is actually equal to 2 over 3H. Right? This is the first equation. Okay, then the next part, 1 over 2K is equal to 1 minus H. This is the second one. Okay, so now we can get the value of K and H easily. So this is 1 over 2K, right? It's equal to this. I can just plug in this whole thing over here. So substitute 1 into 2. So 1 over 2K, I replace it by 2 over 3H. Equal to 1 minus H. So I just move the H over here. 2 over 3H plus H equal to 1. So here you can press the calculator. 2 over 3 plus 1. So it will be 5 over 3. H is equal to 1. Then H will be equal to 3 over 5. Okay, so H is equal to 3 over 5. So once we have gotten the H, then it will be very easy for it to get uh, the K. Let me do it over here. So 
So substitute h equal to 3 over 5 into into the first one. So if you want to, uh, how, how about we try second one? No problem. You op, uh, both will give you the same answers. Okay, 1 over 2k is equal to 1 minus h. This will give you uh, 2 over 5. So k is equal to 2 over 5 times 2. So k is equal to 4 over 5. Okay, let's try one more question. In the following diagram, OA, okay, so this is OA. OA is equal to 3x. OB is equal to 5y. OB equal to 5y. OA is extended to C. OA is extended to C such that OC is equal to 3 OA. OC, okay, let me write over here. OC is equal to 3 OA. So if I move the OA over here, you get 3. This is actually means 1. So it means that OC, 3 part, OA, 1 part. So uh, this is 1 part, here 1 part, then OC, 3 part. This is already uh, taken 1 part, here will be 2 part. Okay, so from here, you can get the AC easily. One part is equal to 3x. So two part, A to C, it will become 6x, right? Okay, so now, same thing over here. OB is extended to D such that OD equal to 2OB. Okay, let me write over here. OD equal to 2OB. So I move the OB over here. 2 over 1. It means that OD 2 part, OB 1 part, here 1 part. Then OD is 2 part, it means here is this 1 part. So this is 5y for 1 part. Here also 1 part, right? So same thing. It means that B is actually the midpoint of OD. Okay, so this is 5y as well. The straight line AD and BC, the straight line AD and BC in the set at point P. We want to find each of the following vectors in terms of X and Y. Okay, so now we want to find AD. AD. So how do we get AD? Let me draw a line over here. Easier for you to see. AD. AD. So a D is equal to A O plus O D. Correct? A O plus O D you will get you will get A D. A O. Okay, look carefully the arrow. This is O A. Now we are looking for A O opposite directions. So we have to add a negative over here. Negative 3x plus O D. O D. So here is 5y, here is 5y. Total will be 10y. Okay, so AD is equal to negative 3x plus 10y. How about, okay, now let's continue to BC. Okay, let me erase this one. BC. Okay, so BC will be over here. B to C, okay. Now from the diagram, I know that BC is actually BO plus OC, right? BO plus OC. BO, okay, again, the arrow is pointing this way. This way is 5Y. Now you want to go backwards, opposite directions. BO, so it will be negative 5Y. OC, OC, no problem. 3x, uh, 6x, total you will get 9x. Okay, so if you want to rearrange it, you can do it one more step. 9x minus 5y. 9x minus 5y. Okay, correct. Okay, let's continue part B. 
given a p is equal to m a d okay this you have an arrow over here arrow okay a p is equal to m a d b p is equal to n b c express o p in term of m x y for the part one for the first part and the second part uh, we want to express o p in term of n x y so almost the same thing like what we did just now okay o p let me uh, right over here O P okay so we want to express this O P in term of M X Y it means that I have to use this one this is the only information that consists in M so we want to A P okay O P let me erase this one draw it over here for you O P okay from O to P this is O P okay O P now I want to express in terms of m x y, so I need to use a p. Okay, o p is equal to o a plus a p. O a, oh, let me use back the blue color. O a plus a p. O a plus a p, you get o p. What's o a? O a is three x. What's a p? AP is MAD. MAD. Okay, so how to get AD? So I do it over here. AD is equal to AO plus OD, right? AO plus OD. AO, opposite directions, I have to put a negative. Plus OD. OD is 10Y. Okay, actually I don't have to redo it again because uh, I have the answer over here, right? I can just use this answer for this part. Okay, I forgot. 3X plus MAD, this one. So negative 3X plus 10Y. Okay. So this is uh, 3X minus 3MX plus 10MY so if I want to bring out the X it will be 3 minus 3M X plus 10MY 3 minus 3M X plus 10MY okay so this is OP in term of M X and Y okay now let's do the second part OP same thing but this time we want to in term of n x y so n means that we want to use this information OP so I want to use uh, BP okay it's equal to OB plus BP OB plus BP OB is equal to 5y BP okay you don't have to find because you already got it uh, sorry BP is equal to NBC NBC BC we got it just now BC is equal to this one we just use the answer that we got it uh, on this A second part so 9x minus 5y okay so here will be 9ns I bring the angle in minus 5 and y okay so let me rearrange this nicely x and x y and y 9 and x plus 5 y minus 5 and y so how about I proceed one more step 5 minus 5 n okay I bring the y go up so this is uh, 9 x 9nx plus 5 minus 5ny okay so this is op in terms of nxy okay the last part we want to find the value of m and n okay op is equal to 9nx plus 5 minus 5ny and at the same time op also equal to 3 minus 3mx plus 10my so it means that these two are the same thing 
So now I want to find the value of m and n. I just compare these both equation. Okay, how about let me erase this part first. Okay, by comparison, I know that 9n is equal to 3 minus 3m, right? 9n. Okay, make sure you write um, properly x and x, y and y. So don't compare wrongly. So x, the coefficient of x compared with the coefficient of x, the coefficient of y compared with the uh, coefficient of y. So 9n is equal to this. Okay, so I can divide this whole equation by 2, uh, by 3, so make the number become smaller, easier. Okay, then how about this one? 5 minus 5n. Okay, this is the first one. So 5 minus 5n equal to 10m. Okay, same thing, I divide the whole equation by 5. 1 minus n is equal to 2m. Okay, now this is the second equation. So you can use the substitution method or elimination method up to, up to you as long as you can get the answers. So from one, from this one, I know that m is actually, uh, m is actually equal to one minus three n, right? I move the negative m over here, three n over here. So m is equal to one minus three n. Okay, so now I'm going to substitute this one into the second equation. Three into two. One minus n is equal to two m. But I know that m is actually equal to one minus three n, right? So I will write one minus three n. So now no more m. We only have n over here. So one minus n is equal to 2 minus 6n, 2 times 1, 2 times negative 3n. Okay, so I move the, I keep this negative n over here, move the negative 6n over here, it becomes positive 6n, and this I copy the 2, 1 and put it over here, become negative 1. So this is 5n, oh, 5n. This is 5n and this is 1. So n is equal to 1 over 5. Okay, so now we just substitute n is equal to 1 over 5 into, into which one? Uh, how about we use this one, third one, number 3. So m is equal to 1 minus 3n. Okay, 1 minus 3n. So m is equal to 1 minus 3 over 5. This one you can just press your calculator. You will get 2 over 5. Okay, so this is a way how we get the m and n. Okay, just now I forgot. I told you that here we have few methods, right, to solve, uh, to solve it, to get the value of k and h. So I show you this method. How about if I want to use another method, it will be like this. Okay, let me erase this one first. So another method will be like this. OM, OM, right? You just take this one divided by this. 1 over 2k divided by 1 over 2k is equal to this divided by this. Okay, let's try. You get exactly the same answer. Divided by 2 over 3h. Okay, now you will notice that this one we can cancel it. We get 1, right? 1. And this is 1 over h, it's 2 over 3 h. Then I just, this 2 over 3 h, I move it over here, become this one. 1 times 2 over 3 h will still equal to, uh, equal to 2 over 3 h, 1 minus h. Okay, so now, 2 over 3 h plus h equal to 1. So this, you can press the calculator, 2 over 3 plus 1, you will get uh, 5 over 3 h is equal to 1. So h will be equal to 3 over 5. We get the same answer.
Okay, for this video, I stop here first. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.